If Robert Frank is here, that can only mean one thing. Oh, yes, we're giving you a tour of the most extravagant mansions in the world when we go inside them. The secret lives of, of the, the super rich. rich. Robert, of course, is the host of our sister network series on CNBC. We love when you come take yes. us to Bel Air, please. Well, today we're going to show you the secret subterranean oh, lives ooh, of the super rich. Okay. We're going to start in Bel Air. Now, this is a house uh, that's just come on the market, just under $50 million. It's 36,000 square feet, but a lot of that is underground. Now, the grounds have a beautiful in-ground pool, jacuzzis. It's got, you know, the, the classic master bedroom. But underneath yeah. is 20,000 square feet of basically resort-style living. There's that mosaic pool. There's a bowling what? alley. There is a squash court. There's a tennis court. There is a basketball court. There is a cinema. That and you, is. There's, there's the ping pong table. And you just, you just never leave, need to leave your house okay, with that. Okay, that, look at that music room. It's That's like, amazing. That looks like uh, somewhere in Vegas. What's like the price hotel? on that, baby? Just came on the market. Just $49.9 million. No, okay. just a few pennies. All right, now take us into Texas, yes. where I'm from, and I know that you know we do things bigger. <laughs> yes. This is the largest closet. If you've ever had closet envy, now is the time. So okay. this, this closet, you're just going to see the closet now. 3,000 no. square feet. Oh, come on. Bigger than my Three apartment. Three stories. Yes. It's like a department store. Floor number one, we're going to have handbags, jewelry, and accessories, sunglasses. Floor number two, yeah. you've got the shoes and most of the clothes. And then floor number three is where she keeps her furs and her hats. The closet alone, <laughs> the closet alone costs a half a million dollars to build. Forget about all the stuff in there, the Birkin bags, the incredible shoes, oh, a half a million dollars, just the closet. That's unbelievable. All right, what about Connecticut? What's happening there? All right. Is well, this Kathy Lee's house? This, <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It was Let's actually, see. unless you live with Mel Gibson, but oh, this oh. was Mel Gibson's house for 15 years, wow. and it's 75 acres. It is the largest home in Greenwich, Connecticut, and he bought it while he was filming Braveheart, and you can see why. He used to call it Wayne Manor because it reminded him of Batman's house. Uh, but this is just real old school medieval luxury. Inside, you've got 40 foot vault ceilings. You've got wood that's from the 1600s wow, that's been that's put beautiful. in there. And it, it really has that old world charm. What's funny is the current owner, who bought it from Gibson in 2010, there was a big sword from Braveheart above the fireplace. <laughs> And he said, I'll give you an extra huge amount of money for the sword. Mel Gibson would not give it he up. Wouldn't part with it. This oh, home wow. was sold in 2010 for $24 million. Oh. Now it's on the market for just under 20. Oh. So you're saving $4 million. You're not spending yeah, 20. Yeah, that's a bargain. It's exactly. like on sale at Target. It's on sale. Now, um, okay, <laughs> we're going across the pond. Yes. To London. Okay. Yes. I, I bet things are very posh in this They're, house. Posh is exactly the right word because this is in Mayfair, which is the posh neighborhood <laughs> in London. And this was actually a stable house for the oh, Earl of Essex. So outside, it's kind of stable house, simple. Inside, it's all to the future. This wow. is a five-bedroom, eight-bathroom house, and it's covered in air maze. But it is the ultimate smart home. The wow. kitchen has smart refrigerator and cabinets. They scan all your supplies. Wait, what does that it's mean? like the Jetsons. Exactly. The, the refrigerator and cabinets scan your supplies and automatically order whatever you need. Wait, so you're out of milk and then it like <laughs> fresh direct shows up with it? Exactly. I'm afraid a child would like move the Twinkies around so you get a lot more. <laughs> you know? That house with the smart kitchen and the Twinkies is $43 million. And the horses used to live in that house. So it's come a long way. Wow. If you, if you were to pick, I mean, you've seen so many spectacular yeah. homes. Is there one that just kind of rises above all the rest? That I've ever seen? Yeah, that you've ever seen. Celine Dion's house in yeah. Jupiter, Florida was just, what? What? If, you, if you could turn her voice into a house, <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what it was. What, what is it about it, that? It was, it was on the water. It was beautiful. It yeah. was simple, but the most elegant, peaceful, calming uh, house I've ever seen. Certain gorgeous. homes you walk in and you do get that feeling. Exactly. That was I've awesome. I've never walked into any like that, though. Ever. One day, maybe we will. <laughs> We can always Doubt, dream. Doubtful. <laughs> CNBC's Secret Lives of the Super Rich, by the way, is available That's on demand. So much Thank fun. You. Thank nice. you. We'll Thank be back you. right after this. That was so good. Oh, I could great. watch those <laughs> all. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.